Last week, we started talking about the heart and we talked a lot about what's going on with um, blood flow in the chambers of the heart and the valves. And we started with EKG, so looking at the electrical signals in the heart. Um, this week, we will review those electrical signals and relate them to the cardiac events in more detail. So how those relate to contraction and relaxation, and then how that relates to pumping blood out of the heart and then back in. This week, we'll also talk about cardiac output. So the amount of blood that is um, pumped out by the heart in a minute, that's an important clinical and relevant um, measure, and then the regulation of that. So autonomic nervous system, endocrine regulation of um, heart rate, as well as the volume, the uh, stroke volume is what it's called. So that'll be this week. Um, I wanna start with a learning check and then tie it into the next piece here. So here, I'd like you to label the names of these waves or um, intervals, whatever they are, and what's happening. So I'll just do the first one here and then I'll show the answers. So here, this is our P wave initiated at the SA node. And this represents atrial depolarization. That's the electrical event. So you should be able to do the rest of these. Some of them are a little bit more like, this is just an interval in between different things. So pause to label these, do your learning check. Okay, here are the answers, right? So this should be review. Um, we've got this delay at the AV node, that's important. QRS complex is ventricular depolarization. Note that atrial repolarization is also occurring at this time. You may not have put that, not a huge deal. Um, if that's not the first thing you thought of, it's covered up, um, not really visible, but it's happening at that same time because ventricular depolarization is so big. That's what we see. Um, here, ventricular depolarization is complete. There's an, uh, a de delay before ventricular repolarization is that T wave. Here, ventricular repolarization is complete. And that's gonna lead us into another P wave, right, for the next cardiac cycle. Um, so now what I'd like to do, that was your learning check. I'd like to relate these to what's happening at the heart muscle. So this is excitation. And then we're gonna have contraction coupled to that, right? The EKG isn't actually, and just to remind you, EKG, ECG, electrocardiogram, the EKG isn't actually measuring contraction, but these electrical events are going to correspond to um, key contraction and relaxation events. So with the P wave, that's going to that atrial depolarization is going to guess what correspond to atrial contraction. H, I can't spell. That's right, atrial contraction. The next event here, we've got, we've got a delay before ventricular contraction, which is coupled to ventricular depolarization. At this point, right, the atria are gonna, going to start to relax as they repolarize. And here we've got with the T wave with ventricular um, repolarization, we've got the ventricles relax. And of course, we're going to have some different terms we use for relax and contract. Um, we'll do it multiple times here. So this is going to be systole, ventricular systole, um, and relax is diastole. All right. So what we've done so far this week is relate the electrical events on the, the EKG to the normal mechanical events of the cardiac cycle. So basically just where things contract and relax, the, the different, the ventricles and, and atria.